that's why I said love yourself. A lot of people we we chase we chase a lot. We want a lot of things. We we're doing a lot, but a lot of people don't love themselves enough. Um, you can see that by for me, I, I see it by Instagram and Twitter. If you really like love yourself, you don't really have nothing negative to say about other people all the time. So all them people who do that a lot, they don't love themselves enough. Like think about it, you don't. If you really feel great about yourself, it doesn't. You don't have no time to tear somebody else down. That's true. All right, what's up, everybody? It's your host, D. Tay Black, your favorite street reporter, Mr. Outside himself, and we got a special episode for y'all. We with the one and only legend, New York legend at that, Styles P. What up? What's good, fam? How you feeling? How you feeling, hey, bro? Can't good. complain. Can't complain. First of all, I want to say, you know, today's a Monday, start the week off nice. Yeah. How did you, like, what product did you use this morning from Pharmacy for Life? Black seed oil, elderberry and zinc, and king of the jungle. Black seed oil, the pill or the oil one? I took the pills today. Why are you cheating on the oil? <laughs> I ain't cheating on the oil. I'm going to take the oil a little later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to double up, actually, on my black seeds today. Okay. Um, it's been really cold the past few days. So, yeah, I'll probably take a spoonful before I go to bed. Okay, not too Just bad. To, yeah. I was on a go to, that's why. Mm, okay, okay. So I want to know <clears throat> what came up with the idea? How did you come up with the idea to start Pharmacy for Life and Juice for Life? Well, Juices for Life is my um, my partner now. He already had a juice bar that I used to go to, which was um, Fruits of Life in Harlem. And I used to attend there for years. And he used to ask me to be his business partner. And I, I was like, I was just staying away from him again to know things and then he shut the business now and called me one day like I'm doing another juice spot and you're gonna be my partner. He said, he said you work too hard and want to inform the people so much so yeah and then went from one juice spot to almost six now and from this spawned off of understanding that um, we do have six juice spots but they are all New York based and even when we want to get out further we tell people you know Get, make sure you get your own juice or your own blend to do it at home. But we also wanted a, a way to be able to hail our people mm. with more than just juice and to be able to reach them. Um, so basically, these things you see up here is pretty much what me and my wife live off of. That's like in our own medicine cabinet. So it was more so like, let's keep doing what we do, but let's show people. And especially when we see people with, with being interested in picking up on it. So it was like... I right, show them the next part of the lifestyle, which is the black seed oil, oil of oregano, BCD, sour sap, seed moss, and just not just our herbs and oils, all herbs and oils, all fruits and veggies. It's okay. just more like incorporating preventative measures in your lifestyle and things that work for your body. So that's pretty much how it came about. So my next question is, uh, when you were transitioning to like a more healthy lifestyle, did your image play a factor into it? No, nah, I never really, I mean, I wouldn't be doing this if I worried about my image. Because, you know, when it comes to rap, rappers promote more, like, oh, drinking, yeah. unhealthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. compared to, like, not promoting the healthy self. So that's what I mean by the image. I didn't really care about what, what people would think about my image. I had a job to do. Um, I think working on healing your people is much more important than with the images. And I come from a gangster rap background mm -hmm. anyway, so me really worrying about what people think is... I don't really have that problem. Actually, going plant based teaches you. I used to put it like this I used to not give a fuck in an ignorant way. <laughs> now I don't give a fuck in a positive way. Like, you okay. know what I mean? If you're doing something positive and you're working on to get to a better place and you worry about your image and what people say about you, you most likely will fail. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're taking on too much energy and you're trying to fight forces that you need not fight. It's either with me, is this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm doing it, and you either with me or not. Okay, so, what, so what difference did you see when you, well, since you've been taking care of more of your body, more with your recording process, mm -hmm. like compared to your early days, when probably like probably more a little bit unhealthy compared to now, like what's the difference? My mind, my mind just works faster. Mm -hmm. I would say my my mind works faster, and when I'm tired, it takes me longer to get tired, and my mind works faster. Do you sleep a lot or like? Good hours of sleep? Somewhat. Somewhat? Somewhat. I wouldn't say great. Mm -hmm. um, but over the past few years, I've learned to rest. Rest better. So even when I'm not sleeping, I, I, I make sure I get an adequate amount of rest. Um, me time. Massages. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, take naps? Yeah, I take naps. You know, yeah. Sometimes a nap is good. Yeah, I take naps. I believe in yeah. naps. I just <laughs> most of the time, um, if I'm if I'm at home, I'll take a nap. If I'm in a studio, I'll take a nap. Mm -hmm. Like you know, but um, sleep is very very important. So That's I don't right. sleep as much as I, I would like to. I have a hard time sleeping over four hours basically. Yeah. Like once four hours hits, I'm pretty much gonna pop up. But now I've learned to still be relaxed. Before I would pop up and I get up. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes now, I just lay there. I meditate. Sometimes I meditate myself back to sleep. Mm, okay. So it's you know. Because you know, learn to relax. You want to take all this sleep and also help restore the body. Yeah, sleeping too. definitely. That's one of the especially as you get older. The mm -hmm. Sleeping is one of the main things. And resting too. Like some people, I I, I just relax a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, when I'm relaxing, yeah. I'm actually relaxing. Before I had a hard time with just adjusting, but you know. And my brain runs a lot too, so sometimes I'm just a rhyme will wake me up or a thought will wake and me up. All right. And not even right, you just start talking. Right? I you just down, try to voice note. I don't. Neither one. I store it in there. I've never written a rhyme. I know. I know. Yeah. So, I store it. So, so that's. So you saying your memory's more stronger now compared to like when you were in your twenties? My work. I wouldn't say it's stronger. My because brain fun. My brain function off. is better. My brain function is better. Like, and I usually work. When no, if I know I'm gonna get to the studio the next day or something, then I, I do it. Like, I think the older you get, you set yourself up for to win a little more. So like, if I'm not going to to the studio, I'm not the next day. I'm not even thinking of a rhyme because mm -hmm. I go off the energy. So if I'm not gonna get to a booth, I I won't bother. Yeah, okay. you know what I mean. So like things like that. That's when I say I I've learned to rest before I would keep. Going, 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 Keep going. going and forcing the issue. Now I go, nah, let me chill. Um, I'll put the calm app on too. Like, say if I'm up, mm -hmm. uh, I'll put, um, not the calm, I'm sorry, I'll put 528HZ on. It's a, a wavelength. Oh. <laughs> it's a wavelength. It's like meditation music. Okay, it's yeah, a lot of people don't even know. That's why it's I, the I sound of healing mm -hmm. and repairing your body. So I'll just put 528HZ on mm -hmm. and lay okay. there in. Come back to your yeah. proper state. But, Peace of mind. Oh, which one of your friends or family member was the hardest to get into the healthy lifestyle? Because, you know, people don't want to listen right away because it's not... A lot of people. I can't even say which ones, period. But for what we're trying to do, this is a this is all our jobs. It's not just my job. It's our job is, um, I think, black and brown people to understand where, where we have a lot of health problems in this country and health issues. So it's our job to make sure that we all the messengers. So it's not just my friends, not just my family. It's, this is a message I'm trying to get to every community across, not even just our country, all of the countries across the world. Like this is a message where we, we have to take care of each other and have to realize the fight we're in. And, and it's hard to get a lot of people to listen. But you know what I feel like too is like when you're younger, you feel like, oh, I don't have to worry about my health. Yeah. Right, I can wait till like I'm 40 or my 30s to focus on because you know we're young. A lot, of, a lot of us think that way, and it's a bad way to think because that's why when you get in your 40s, the problems hit. That's when the hypertension, high blood pressure, diabetes, um, stomach cancers, cancers, gout, all of that shit kicks in, kicks in from what you was eating back then. So you have to be most diseases start in the gut. So you have to be kind of mindful of that when you're young. For a first-time buyer, which product from Pharmacy for Life do you Black recommend? Seed <laughs> Black seed oil automatically because it does so much for you. It, it really does. It fights off. I mean, black seed oil is mentioned in the Quran, so the, that should tell you it's yeah, been yeah, around for product. it's been around for a long time. What's the Natural anti-inflammatory. Look, zoom in. It gets rid of the mucus and phlegm from your body. Natural inflammatory is good for your brain function. It's nature's flu shot. Glucose levels keeps them down. It just basically kind of does everything. And it has anti-cancer properties. So it's kind of, I always say this is my staple. If I had, to, if I had one medicine just to, take. to take and for the rest of my life, it would be that. Like if they say you got to go somewhere, you can mm -hmm. only bring one thing and keep continuing. That would be it for me. What's the second? One? What would we be? Oil a second, of oil of oregano. 
I'm not going to lie. All of Oregano was strong as hell. Strong as hell. One time I put it, I put six drops in a center, brand new center, ruined the whole drink. <laughs> I definitely. See, I go right up. I do the whole, I could go to a whole dropper mm-hmm. under the tongue now. The whole thing. I, I used to, now, now, as I got older, I realized. Yeah. Like, when I first started back in 2020, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. I got to take it straight. <laughs> yeah, take it straight. Cut a lemon, cut a lemon in half. Basically, you want to take things away. Um, that fights off flus and colds all the time. You want to take things that's going to build up your system. And on top of that, you really want to make sure, if you're paying attention to this, you want to make sure you're eating your fruits and your veggies. And and you don't want to eat a lot, bunch of processed foods. You don't want to eat a bunch of foods with sugar in them. And you want to sweat, meditate, and stretch. Those are also important things to do. Sweat, meditate, and sweat. Yeah. And how did, speaking of 2020, how did the pandemic affect your business, positive or negatively? Uh, I would say it affected us positively. Um, so many people were scared that um, <laughs> a lot of people from the juice bar knew we had the answers. And then it was like, it, it kind of, it, it just kicked in for people. And I guess with us, we're not new to the juice business. We've been doing it for 13 years. I felt like they felt these are people we could depend on. And um, people see results, and people hear about results, and see and people under, understand once people start spreading the word what's actually happening. And on top of that, you, I think people just were scared of shit, <laughs> scared to death. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Yeah. So when that happens, you start thinking about better ways to prepare and protect yourself, and natural ways. So. And people were scared to go to the hospital, too. You know, I'm going to be honest. Like, I had got COVID twice, right? So, recently, I had got it back right before the summer. Yeah. And I, had, I realized I had got on a Monday. I'm like, damn, I'm going to mess with my whole business. Yeah. That I got going on because I got to keep recording. Yeah. I was taking straight black seed oil twice a day and all the regular Left straight. fast. Yeah, by Thursday. Left fast. Because like, I couldn't taste, so I kept putting the... <laughs> once I put the oil regular on my tongue, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is... I have no taste buds. Because, you know, once it hits your tongue, you're going to have that yeah. kick. But I didn't taste nothing, so I kept doing it two times a day. That's good, you see, you saved yourself. Like when I, I had, I had it. I've actually had it twice myself. The first time I had it was before it got here, mm. and they were saying it was actually they was calling it a rhino flu. Mm. This like it was before February, like yeah, December before it, bef- yep, yeah. in the December time. I was, I was doing horrible. And usually, if I get, if I get sick, thirty six hours tops, I'm better. Mm. Like. Tops and be a day and a half. If I'm sick, it's like a day and a half. And this if out. that, yeah, it got to like the fourth, mm-hmm. fifth day, and I'm like, whoa, what the? And I'm doing my regimen. I was doing my black seed oil and everything, and I still wasn't feeling great. Mm-hmm. What I had to do because I took black seed <laughs> every day for so long, I had to incorporate more tea. Mm. I had to. I wasn't drinking enough tea. Then I took andrographis and I took my zinc. I said I had to switch up a little bit. And I just got up, threw my sweatsuit on. So I run it. I start jumping rope in the house till I couldn't. Like and once I get tired, I sit down for a while, get up, do it again. I was sweating it out. And then I go take a hot shower. Mm-hmm. So let it go all the time. Let it go. Why don't you just go to like a sauna? Nah. So I didn't want to leave the house. I, I didn't mm-hmm. feel prepared enough to leave the house and I didn't want to get nobody else sick, so. I just stood in the house, and then the second time I got it, I didn't even feel it. You just said your body was. Amazing. I know, I know, I know. I had it. Did a test, and I had it. I felt a little funny, and I just went to. I went to a super, super <laughs> duper regimen, like really fast, and it was, I was good. Okay, and then the last question is: What advice would you give anybody? It could be anything. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself kindly as possible, and um, live life. And to add on to that, give yourself some credit too. Yeah. Exactly. People don't really give out themselves that much credit for yeah, working hard, what's in the ass. Mm-hmm. That's why I said love yourself. A lot of people, we, we, chase, we chase a lot, we want a lot of things, we, we're doing a lot, but a lot of people don't love themselves enough. Um, you can see that by, for me, I, I see it by Instagram and Twitter. If you really, like, love yourself, you don't really have nothing negative to say about other people all the time. Mm-hmm. So all them people who do that a lot, they don't love themselves enough. Like, think about it. You don't, if you really feel great about yourself, it doesn't, you don't have no time to tear somebody else down. That's true. 
for looking away, sounding away, not agreeing with you. So you're not giving yourself enough love and care and to, to G-check why you would even be doing that. So that's why I say love yourself. I mean, you realize everything around you start being more positive mm -hmm. and life start going great in a good direction. Exactly. All right, but thank you. I appreciate you. you giving your time love is love. your day. Thank you. And then happy early birthday because, you know, sad season's around the corner. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes sir. That's why you got to look. I'm going to be 48. So look young. Yeah. So look young. Yeah. All right, so, bow. My other essential, Pharmacy for Life by Salus P right here. CMOS, zinc. Two good things for your immune system, help boost your immune system. Take care of the inside of your body. Health is wealth. It's 2022, we gotta focus more on health. That's one thing we take for granted as people. No matter who you are, I feel like a lot of us, especially in America, we take our health for granted because you know we think we, we young, we don't really care. But tell you longevity, make sure your skin good and all that. So you take care of your inside, it reflects on the outside, especially by your skin. You tell somebody doing the way their skin is growing. Remember that. If you don't remember anything I say, just remember that. Yo, check it. You with DJ Blackie. He already told you it was essentials. You thought he was bull crapping. He wasn't. Look where he's at now. You know what I'm saying? He gonna make sure you get that black seed oil, that Irish sea moss with the bladder rack, the king of the jungle, and the iron out. You know why? Because he cares about his body. He cares about you caring about his body. That's why he gave you his list of essentials before. So now here I am, style speed, to re, re, re amplify his list. You know? Detail, love is love. Go soldier, so. Yeah! And that's a wrap. <laughs> Cut!